I'm Jack Dean, captain of Sport FC, and alongside my teammate Will Brazier, we flew out to learn all about one of the biggest football teams in the world. And this is the moment we realised they meant American football. This is Sport FC's journey to the NFL. It's first morning in America. I'm going to try and get my head in the game. We're here now, right? We're at SMU College. We're here for the weekend, Jack. We're going to get ingrained in Dallas. We're going to get ingrained in Texas. But most of all, we're going to get ingrained in the NFL. There's a huge game on Sunday, which we're very privileged to be going to. Indeed. It's a playoff game. Dallas Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers. But what's NFL all about? What's it all about? I friend? don't know, Will. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. We're in America. In America, indeed, we were, and it would soon be time to meet a man named Rhett Brooks. We'd been told that Rhett Brooks would be the perfect man to give us a tour of the SMU College. Jack, Rhett, Rhett Brooks, very nice to meet you. Oh yeah, this is him, by the way. Hello, Hello Rhett, nice sir. to meet you. I'm William. Rhett Brooks, nice to meet you, William. Strong grip, yeah, strong right, handshake. Sure. Gotta have a nice strong grip in the weight room. So we've been told we're going on a little tour of the facilities today, get shown around. Check out the venue, bit of a casual one. Yeah, I think uh, the, the majority of the tour that you guys are going to get today is over with. And uh, i got a couple of t-shirts right here for you, so I want you to go put these on. There's no point in bringing And I'll see you guys on the floor in a minute and a half, so let's go. So, first impressions of Jack and Will? Uh, kind of scrawny fellas. Uh, not a whole lot of muscle mass on those bodies, so there's quite a bit of work that I could get done with them if they were to spend some time here in Dallas. I, I feel pathetic. You look pathetic. Thank you. I've not even worn any shin pads. Uh, you don't need shin pads, mate. Of course we do. This is going to be tough. Fine. What do you mean it'll be fine? Have you seen him? Oh, mate, he looks like a pussycat. <laughs> it's got arms. Oh, Come on, chicken boys, it's time to go. Let's get in the weight room. Let's get going. Yes, Rhett. I'm sorry, Rhett. Sorry, Rhett. After you, Rhett. So on the bench press in the NFL Combine, there's a few things that they're going to look for and they're going to dock you for if you're not doing it correctly. Right? So this is not a powerlifting meet. We don't want a big arch in the back. We want contact on the bench with your hips and your back. All right? Also, as you press the bar up, okay, your elbows must come to a full lockout position. Okay, they're not going to count half reps. Yeah. You also have to touch your chest. So as you come down, control the bar, touch the chest. Press it up. Full lock position to counter rep. Okay, alright? Yeah. You know one of those moments where you pretend you're in control of the situation when in reality you're way out of your depth? This was one of those moments displayed perfectly here by the muscle mass on Will's biceps. A commendable start from Sport FC's very own William Brazier right about now as he tries to hold his own in the SMU college. Admittedly though, he is just bench pressing the bar at the moment. There isn't actually any weight on that bar. How much was that? It's 45 pounds, yeah. 40 kilos. And one thing you might want to do is you want to hit down a little bit lower. There. That's going to keep you in a good track, keep those shoulders comfortable. Okay, and this is the heaviest weight we're doing today, right? That is incorrect. Okay, cool. What's that, nine? It's about six. Okay. We're going to progress the weight up a little bit. Yeah. Our next warm up set will be at 95 pounds. All we're looking for here is about five or six reps. Just five or six. I might do 10, but it's up to you if you want to do this. I might need to do Even. Two, three. Punch it up. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on. Punch it up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. That's when you feel like you've done it and then you're in on breakfast. Just hold it on. <laughs> Down nice and slow, punch it up. Good. Yeah, it's going to unwrap this weight for you. I just want you to feel it. <laughs> oh, I'll feel it. Up. You got those elbows locked? Yeah. You're going all the way right now. All right, let's bring it down slow. Press it up. Oh, I thought it was going. Well, that was easy. Next one. So this is me using every part of my body to try and bench press 135 pounds, which is barely half of what an average NFL athlete is expected to be able to bench. Yeah, I don't think we'll be making the transition from English football to American football just yet. If we get that clip and do it a few times, it'll look like I've done nine. So, oh, I just did nine, guys. 225 pounds, 100 kilos. Yeah, and this is the NFL Combine test weight. Oh, so everybody has to do it. So everybody's doing this weight right here at the NFL Combine. Everybody's doing that. Yeah. It was at this point that Rhett kindly informed us that 225 pounds is roughly the same weight as a big American black bear. I'm trying to lift a big American black bear here. Punch it, punch it, punch it up. <laughs> 
that is ridiculous. That was just nah. Nothing. That was just nah. A couple reps. So our time in the gym had come to an end, which myself and Will both welcomed with open arms. Albeit sore, achy open arms. I mean, we'd barely been in America a matter of hours, and we found ourselves stood watching a man repeatedly bench press a big American black bear. <laughs> With that, that we said our goodbyes to Rhett and headed out onto the football field. Hey guys, I'm uh, Jake. And um, today we're gonna go over uh, some wide receiver techniques, and then after that we're gonna go over some tackling techniques for you guys. Give you an overall aspect of American football. Very basic. Very basic. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm quite advanced, Jake. So you no, probably already. No, I I disagree. Oh, okay. It's unbelievable how little I know about this sport. I don't think I've ever watched a game. Ever? Ever. So Same way. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. Chop, chop, yeah. Loads. <laughs> Uh, yeah, come over here, you can be the quarterback. Okay, I'm the quarterback, I've heard of that. Then I go like that? No, 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 no. You gotta throw it overhand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that. But should I be like down here? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, stand up, stand up. Right there, right there. That's good, that's perfect. That's perfect, right there. Hi! What are you doing? You've got to catch the ball. There, you did it. Where have you ever seen the ball go sideways? I've never watched this. What are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh no! Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Sometimes we like to act up for the camera. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Not at all. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some one-on-ones, okay? So the receiver and I will be on the, on the same page. We'll know the routes that's gonna be ran. We're gonna try to complete a pass. Okay. If you're on defense, it's important that, that you don't hold or, or grab your opponent because that is against the rules. I just have to block. You, you just have to block. You have to use your body. And when I've got the ball, he can do what he wants to me. That's exactly right. He, yeah. He's gonna tackle you very hard. Have his way. Yes. Thank you. All right, are we ready to get started? Wait, do you wanna do that? I don't know what that is. You do? <laughs> so as Jake and Will discussed some top secret tactics, I wanted to make it clear that I wasn't scared, that I had everything under control. Or not. <laughs> I mean, tripping over my feet in the first few seconds may be great for content. For my personal brand, however, not so great. As far as amateurs go, when they first step onto the football field, how bad was that? Uh, he could probably compete with like maybe middle schoolers. Oh, yeah. how how old are how old are middle? I uh, like you know in the low teens. Yeah. How old are you? 26. 26. Now we're gonna try a little field goal competition, something that you guys might feel a little bit better at. Yep. So we'll just work out from five yards at a time and see who has a better leg. Who's gonna win? Go. We're all winners here, Jake. I think it was clear to both Rhett and Jake that we weren't exactly naturals at American football, but it was time to claw back some pride as we turned our hand, or feet I should say, to field kicks. And I think it's safe to say this was a little bit more our thing. for the win. You did okay. Uh, we can play the, the NFL? No, you, you failed miserably on that aspect. Oh, okay. um, you, you guys could probably compete with like some 13 or 14 year olds. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't give you much more than that. I'll take it. Well, thank you very much for your time, Jake. Yep, thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. All the best. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's go. On to the next one.
And just like that, our time at the SMU had come to an end. We were now experienced in the gym, and Jake admitted we could at least compete in a game of American football. You guys could probably compete with like some 13 or 14 year olds. It still counts. Coming up in part two of Sport's journey to the NFL, we learn how to eat like a true NFL athlete, and we also learn how to celebrate like one too. Kinda. We'll see you then.